I feel like I was just mini Pearl. That's so funny. I hope this one works. Yesterday I recorded this and it turns out I didn't have any any sound coming out of my video. So hopefully you, if you watched the transmission yesterday, you enjoyed my facial expressions and my and my good humor that I'm sure transmits through the lines, even if there isn't sound. But today I am in the actualization zone and we are doing the weather report for the week. I've actually started calling this our, our weekly pep talk as well. I love to work with just the un, the, um, the non-physical energies that are that we're encountering this week. And I love to work with my deck of cards. I have several that I work with just to kind of guide the conversation. So if that's something that's new to you, that's cool. Just be curious about it. It just is a way for me to kind of play off the, the intuitions that are coming forward. So let's go ahead and get started today. I want to take a look at kind of just what's on tap for the week in terms of our um, achieving our goals, actualizing our hopes and dreams and so on. So let's see this first card that we have. Oh, well, this is so cool that this comes up. The first card that we have this week is align your life, align your life. And the, the part of this conversation is to ask the question, what is not aligned or needs to be changed? So early in this week, like yesterday, today, and even tomorrow, you can ask that question of your intuition, your heart, your spirit, just say, what's not aligned? What's not aligned and needs to be changed? I think it's best in these situations to operate from a place of curiosity and openness. You don't have to know the answer to this question. Just kind of live in it for a while. What's not aligned? What needs to change? So that's the kind of the, the current that we're running in earlier in this week is looking for alignment, looking for alignment of our mind, body, spirit, looking for alignment with our values and our, in our work, seeking out alignment, most importantly, just between you and you, your most deeply held goals and dreams, your heart's desires and the way that you're living your life. If anything's out of alignment or out of sync with your deepest heart's desires, it's time to start getting your house in order. There's no more time to waste on this. It's really time. So ask, what's not in alignment? Get curious about it. And don't just get curious about it, but take action on it. All right, so that's the first part of the week. What's coming up? Let's see. This is so, I love this reading. This is way, this is yesterday's reading that I did with no sound was good. This one's even more amazing. This next one is to take a break. Here it is. Take a break. It says life's a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill, get off the treadmill. Do the same thing over and over and over again and expect a different result. It's time to get off the gerbil wheel. It's time to get off the busyness cycle. And get back into your life. Bring yourself off of an autopilot. Come into the present moment. And, you know, quite frankly, st let's, let's look at what you've put on the back burner. What have you set aside for later, for someday when it would be nice? What have you set aside? And let's bring that front and center and start actualizing it. Now's the time to do that. Have you noticed that there's a theme about times and essence coming forward as well? I think that that's really interesting because it really is true. We don't have a lot of time to waste at this point. It's time to really start leaning into the uncertainty that we have in front of us and to start deciding what we're going to actualize in the next chapter of our lives. On my last LinkedIn Live that I just did actually a few minutes ago, I finished, I talked about making the transition back into the office. Some of you, will work from home like I do, but we're, we're working with clients who are going back into the office or you're going back into the office right now yourselves. And so it can be very easy to fall back into autopilot to get back on the treadmill that you were on pre pandemic. But this card and this, this, the energies that we're working in this week is a really important invitation 
to bring yourself up off of autopilot and come back into the present moment and really consciously and mindfully create the life that you most want to live. All right, last one, ready? Here it is. This last one is about answering your deepest calling. It's the warrior woman. And this is the question that you get to live in this week. It's an existential one, really existential question. Am I living my deepest calling? Most likely you're not. I don't think I am either. I think that we're on a journey toward that. But now is the time to start asking the question, even asking the question, what is my deepest calling? And that's the kind of work we're meant to be doing here in the actualization zone and in my upcoming actualization academy, where I'm going to be teaching you the methods and the practices that I've developed over the past 22 years that have allowed and enabled me to create the life that I love, to live the life that's most authentic and alignment in an alignment with my most deeply held dreams and my greatest desires. So I'm looking forward to sharing more about that with you. And in the meantime, as we're closing out the week, I think that this is a really great tune in to the weather report, to the pep talk for the week. Get yourself in alignment. Make sure to take a break. And then after your break, be sure to ask yourself from your warrior woman perspective, from your highest level of leadership perspective, am I living my deepest calling? And what's the best way for me to begin cultivating my life at the deepest calling level? All right. Big love for now. I will be back in in a couple of days. Check in with everybody, see how they're doing and stay tuned because the Actualization Academy is coming soon. I'm excited to announce it. If you'd like to get on the early notification list on that, just go ahead and type a comment in and let me know. Just write early notification. I'll get you on that list and we'll get you the information very first thing. So you have an opportunity to be part of the inaugural Actualization Academy class. Until next time. Mwah. Ciao.